Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we explore the history behind a museum of the Rockies artifact in five minutes or less. While Montana may not be the first place that you think of when you think of contemporary art hubs, there has long been an active art scene here, and MOR has a small art collection featuring several notable artists. These three pieces in the museum's collection were created by renowned contemporary ceramicist Rudy Audio. All three pieces seen here were created early in Rudy's career, likely between the late 1940s and the mid-1960s. Let's take a look at how a boy from Butte became known as the Matisse of Ceramics. Rudy Audio was born in 1926 in Butte, America. His parents were immigrants from Finland, and the family lived in an area of Butte called Fintown. Rudy grew up during the Great Depression and experienced his first art classes thanks to his public school curriculum and evening classes taught by artists from the Works Progress Administration, or the WPA. After World War II, Rudy attended Montana State College in Bozeman. While he originally went to study architecture and architectural engineering, he was soon drawn to the art department. Get it? Drawn? In the art department, Rudy was introduced to ceramics by Francis Senska, another well-known and respected ceramicist and educator in Montana. This bowl, likely created during or soon after his time at Montana State, shows Senska's influence. While in college, Rudy would also meet his future wife, Leela, who was also an accomplished artist, and a new friend and collaborator, Peter Volkus. Rudy's time at Montana State began a career that would span more than 50 years and leave a permanent influence on contemporary ceramics. After graduating from college, Rudy and Peter would go on to be founding resident artists at the Archie Bray Foundation for the Ceramic Arts. While there, the amount and quality of the work that the pair produced would bring significant attention to the new program. Located at a former brickyard, the Archie Bray Foundation still operates today as a center dedicated to fostering a creative, dynamic ceramic arts environment. Rudy was not only an influential artist, but he became an influential teacher when he created the ceramics program at the University of Montana in Missoula. He would go on to teach there for 28 years. After he retired, he focused on his art full-time for the remainder of his life. These two audio pieces in the Museum of the Rockies collection were purchased directly from the artist by another Montana artist, Helen McCausland. They're both glazed ceramic pieces. The abstract piece was purchased in the mid-1950s, and the ram was created sometime between 1950 and 1970. Helen had also commissioned a larger steel sculpture that she had placed in the front yard of her Bozeman home, seen here. She later donated that sculpture to Montana State University, where it stood in front of the art building until one year it mysteriously vanished. Although the pieces in the museum's collection are from early in Rudy's career, he's generally best known for his later work, specifically his vessels covered with figures and images in rich colors, like the one seen here, which is at the Yellowstone Art Museum. These are the types of works that earned him the comparison to Matisse. Rudy's work helped to transform ceramics from a craft to an art form. He has been called one of the most important and influential ceramic artists to ever touch the medium of clay. And while MOR does not have a piece that represents his style and evolution after 1970, looking at these earlier pieces helped to show the full breadth of his development. Rudy was internationally known for his art, and his experimentation with technique expanded the view of what could be done with clay. Rudy Audio passed away in 2007 and left behind a wide portfolio of murals, paintings, sculpted vessels, bronze statues, and more from his esteemed career.